So here I am, uh, almost 10 months after my diastasis repair. Uh, lots of people asking like, how's it going? Where are you at? No regrets for me. I feel amazing. I I want to, ended up choosing to have this surgery because I felt functionally I could not get back to everything that I wanted to comfortably. I felt like I had lots of different body aches. I felt like no matter how much I tried to engage certain muscles or how much I didn't try to engage them, that I just couldn't get the performance out of my body that I was looking for. So that was my ulterior motive. Um, and I feel so strong. I feel so much more comfortable in my body in a way, in a strength way, if that makes sense. Um, I think it's important. A lot of people don't want to know what it looks like. Like I will never have the same tummy I did before I had babies. There will always be signs for me of excess skin. Like when I, when I bend over, there's wrinkling. Um, you can still see um, stretch marks on my sides. I'll probably always have a scar. I still have sensation changes and some numbness, which I don't know will ever go away. But at the end of the day, I'm super happy. Um, like I said, I didn't pick this surgery because I wanted to look better. Having said that, there are lots of clothes that I've pulled out that I had put away because I didn't feel comfortable wearing anymore. And now I just have like a... You know, and whether that's all like a confidence tied up into making me feel more confident, stronger too, like if the looks helps me feel more confident, I don't know. But at the end of the day, I feel like when I walk by a mirror now, my body reflects my activity, if that makes sense. And I'm not saying that I exercise for my body only, but what I'm trying to get at is there's so many things floating around in your head when you're trying to consider this surgery. And I think one of the biggest reasons that I haven't kept talking about it is that by no means do I want to be portraying the message that like, if you don't have surgery, you're not successful. Like, no, I always think of this as a spectrum. And, you know, at the end of the day, like it's, I, I love analogies, and it would be like your child, if your child was having issues with, you know, social development and, and um, getting along with other kids at school, there's, you don't have to go straight to putting them on medication. Like some people will, um, you know, try reading a book, try listening to podcasts, just trying to socialize more. Then maybe I decide to have a, see a counselor or something like that. Maybe then we try to use medications if we feel like we need to, but understanding that like behavioral issues doesn't make you need to be on medications, if that makes sense. And same with diastasis, just because you have diastasis doesn't mean that you have to have surgery. And I think that um, I get that it's hard to kind of figure out where you lay on that. And no matter how much you listen to other people talk about this, they're not the same as you. They don't have the same symptoms as, as you. They don't have the same life as you. They don't have the same goals as you. And I think what I'm trying to say is, um, I am more than happy. I've had a couple people reach out lately from all over the world, Australia, the US, just trying to not only navigate like I've had this surgery and I'm not getting great guidance from my surgeon or I'm seeing a physio and I feel like they're telling me not to have it, but I feel like I should have it. And so if you feel that you want to talk about that, I totally know all of the things that go on in your head about the pros and cons and weighing all of that. I'm happy to go go over that with you in an appointment. And the other thing is I'm a physio and I think that we are very well equipped to you know, help you with the muscle coordination. And whether you decide, if you're trying to decide whether this surgery is for you and wanting to know whether you know, you feel like you've done what you can, I'm happy to talk about that. I'm also happy to help you with the post-op post recovery because you will get different suggestions from your surgeon as far as, okay, at three weeks, you can start doing this. I had a gal yesterday say, I was told at four weeks I could start running. What does that look like? And that's that's where our expertise lies as physical therapists is is helping you understand how to meet those timelines. And are those timelines actually appropriate for you? So in a nutshell, for all of those of you that have reached out, I personally have zero regrets. Um, it was the best decision for me. Um, I don't think it needs to be everybody's decision by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and trust your gut. If you feel like you've put in a lot of work and this is something you want to do, that doesn't make you a bad person and it doesn't make it a bad decision.